Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Happy Sunday. Uh, today I am doing a grocery haul with you. I know I haven't done one of these in a while and I'm getting back on the carnivore train <laughs> again. And um, so of course I had to buy all the meats and I wanted to share with you what I got. So let's go ahead and get into this video. But before we do that, don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed and let me know what you got for your groceries this week okay so went to two places this week went to sam's and i went to walmart and i did a pickup at sam's so i didn't have to go in and i had the walmart delivered i am on um i'm on call this week and so I couldn't leave because in case something happens so um, like I said I'm getting back on the carnivore train I am um, I'm trying to just eat all the meat and get full and all of that kind of stuff so of course I wanted to make sure to have enough in the house that I wouldn't have to worry <laughs> I think I think I bought a little too much for just two of us but that's okay that's okay that's what happens all right, so to start out, uh, when I was on the eight-week challenge, uh, it was more on the leaner side, so it was less fat. So, of course, I had to go ahead and buy a four-pack of butter, right? I mean, come on. And um, so I definitely got some more butter. And then I also, for my husband, for Scott, I got uh, three cheese omelets and Jimmy Dean fully cooked sausage. He likes to have this for breakfast every day and this is not the macros on these are not bad so i give him a little latitude because he he likes to have the carby things so i give him latitude and you'll see that throughout this video so then the next thing that we got was a big thing of pork rinds because i can have pork rinds now and um, these will be good for making panko, but they'll also be good for making nachos or as a snack with, um, with the ponchos. We really like the ponchos white queso dip from Sam's. You can also get it at Walmart. And the reason that we like it is because it has less than one gram of carb per serving. It's pretty good. So we like this, we keep it on hand all the time. I could use it to make cheesy ground beef or cheesy ground turkey or something like that as well. I could use it as a dipping sauce for um, chicken tenders or, I mean, there's, this is really versatile and it's a little spicy, which I like. While I was on the challenge, I really uh, learned to enjoy the hardwood smoked authentic pitmaster seasoned pulled pork members mark brand. This is really clean, it's got really great macros, and so this is something that's kind of a staple in our house now. And of course, you can't, you can't have a good carnivore challenge, well, I'm challenging myself, without some Kobe Jack and some sharp cheddar or whatever cheese you like. I made sure to get a lot of good cheese. I also got some Parmesan cheese wedge because I will be making chicken tenders this week. Um, and then in, in the cheese, I also got some, I got a four pack of Philadelphia because I really love it a lot. I don't use it a lot, but I love it a lot. And so I wanted to have it on hand. And then the last thing I got was a bag of great G-R-A-T-E chef party wings. And I really liked these because these have zero carbs and 1.5 grams of fat per serving. Most chicken wings that you look at, they're gonna have, like this has 23 grams of protein and it's gonna have 15 or 20 grams of carbs, or I mean fat, but these are like 1.5 grams of fat. I don't know what they do to them. They put some magic infused in them or something like that, but they're lower in fat. So I always like to buy these. Um, okay, so that's everything we got at Sam's. And then at Walmart, uh, Scott was out of his creamer. So he got some zero sugar Italian sweet cream 
and some zero sugar caramel macchiato. Now he only drinks one cup a day and he usually warms that cup up four and five times. So he's not a huge coffee drinker. So this is not gonna get used very quickly. This is gonna last him a good two plus months. It's a good thing it doesn't go out. It go, doesn't go out of date very quickly. One thing he does like is a Hillshire Farm smoked sausage. Now this does have three grams of carbs per two ounces, which I think is excessive for me. But for him, I give him that latitude because at least it's keeping him mostly on track, right? Um, and then the other thing I got for him is some summer sausage from Hillshire Farm. Again, not the cleanest, um, not bad carbs, but or macros at all, but it's just not the cleanest. So that's for him as well. Uh, last week, I got us... I splurged and got us a pack of thick cut bacon. And y'all, this is $18 right here. And it's so good though. I really enjoyed having it. I hadn't had it in a long time. I've been eating a lot of thin cut bacon and the flavor and just how good this is, is just, there's no comparison. So of course I had to get two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I also got two packs of the all-natural turkey breakfast sausage links. Um, I found these from Butterball. I found these while um, on the challenge. They are zero carbs, seven grams of fat, and 10 grams of protein. So they're not bad. I actually really like these a lot. They have a lot of good flavor and they help to make a quick breakfast in the morning. I also got us a little thing of stew meat. I actually thought this was going to be bigger, so I'm kind of disappointed. And that much for $9. Ugh, I really thought it was the bigger pack, so I'm kind of disappointed. But we'll use that. What I do is I cut it up into really small pieces. I mix it in with things like ground turkey. I chop up chicken breasts. And I kind of make it like a, a mixture of meats, which is really... I, I don't know, it's got different textures and stuff, so it makes it um, a nice variety option for me. I also got some chicken thighs and some chicken breast tenderloins because I want to make some chicken tenders this week. And chicken thighs are always just a really good staple in our house. So that is what we got for um, our grocery haul this week. I don't know how much of it we're going to use. Some of it will go in the freezer, like half the chicken thighs will go in the freezer, half the chicken breast probably, and one of the packs of the bacon, and we'll see if I need them or not. But since I'm uh, starting again with carnivore, I always want to make sure that I have enough meat and things on hand that I can reach for instead of reaching for the easy stuff. So. Let me know but down below what you think of my grocery haul. What did I miss? What did you, um, what did you get this week? And also, um, just whatever, what recipe would you like to see me try this week? So, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a really great day. Don't forget to be the good in the world that you want to see and start with you and I will see you next time. Bye.